Okay guys, she's back. <laughs> so today, I'm going to be explaining to you why I got another Battle Lore by Blind Horse Knives. So, for those guys who've been around the channel for a little while, you'll probably know that about two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I had a Battle Horse Knives Battle Lore, and I really love it. And I regret honestly selling it because the Battle Lore was kind of one of those knives. You don't realize how nice it is until it's gone. But I did realize that this knife was very good and that I definitely made a mistake by selling it. So for the last few months, I've been trying to get one. And this past month, this August, when I saw Battle Horse Knives had listed a Battle Lore ready to ship and it was this knife, I jumped on it because I was like, not waiting another minute I'm getting the battle or back so why did I do that so the bit the best way to explain why I got another battle or is to explain why I love the battle or the, the first reason is it is one of the best kind of replica or recreations in my opinion of the Ramiers wood lore and this knife looks very similar and performs at least from what I can tell in a very similar manner and even if it doesn't perform in a very similar manner, it's still an incredibly good bushcrafting knife. And the reason why is for its four-ish inch blade, it performs like you would expect as a large or a medium-sized bushcrafting knife in bushcrafting tasks. However, this knife has an extreme ability to perform like a very small knife, something like a more Eldris when it comes to fine detailed carving. Now sadly, I, it's very hard for me to show you guys that performance, but trust me, if you do pick up a battle lore, or if you use a battle lore for any time at all, you will find that not only is this knife an extremely good performer on larger tasks, like that I'm showing here, and it can perform with firecraft, it can perform you know, feather sticks, and all of those standard bushcrafting tasks. But where I think this knife really shines is in the fact that it can cut very small, very fine radiuses. It can cut very small, very fine notches. It can do very fine tasks that you just really can't find knives in this size and weight range to do in the bushcrafting world. So... That is the reason why I had to go out and get another one. And to be completely honest, this one is very impressive. In fact, I do think this one might actually be better than the original Battle Lore that I got. So for the sheath, my original Battle Lore just used a standard sheath that looked like this. However, I decided to go with the Dangler because I've always really liked good bushcrafting knives having a dangler sheath. I find it much easier to use around camp and around general, just field. Going into the field, having a knife just kind of, you know, hanging and suspended on its own dangler is very nice. It also looks very right and fitting as a bushcrafting knife having something that looks like this. Now, I did throw on my own Light My Fire um, Army ferro rod on here, so that did not come with it, but this is the sheath option that I chose, and once again, I'm really impressed with it and very happy with how it came out after just one treatment of open offs. So, that is my battle lore, and that is my second battle lore, and for me, in my opinion, I really have to say that I go through a lot of knives in bushcrafting and in testing, so for me to actually genuinely want to come back, circle back around and buy this knife again, you know, getting this thing back in the collection is very impressive for me because I generally am not that motivated to get another knife that I've already had before. But the Battle Lore is just one of those knives that's so impressive and it's so effective at what it does in bushcrafting that I had to get another one. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of look back over the Battle Lore. Of course, I will be doing more videos with this thing in the future. And as some people say, even though I have a few more knives added to the collection, no, I'm not getting rid of the Chris Reeve knives Pacific. I love that knife to death. That is my favorite do-all go everywhere kind of general purpose knife. However, I did want to get a very, very task specific bushcrafting knife that I knew I loved and that I knew I was going to continue to love. So that is how I ended up with the Battle War.